everybody. Here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. Here's good news for all our overweight listeners who want a simple, safe, economical plan to reduce. It's mighty important to control our weight if we have any tendency to excess pounds. But it must be done without endangering health. Well, nutritionists have worked out a plan whereby you can keep down your weight safely. And here it is. Drink a good glass of Horlicks malted milk for luncheon. That's all there is to it. Nothing to take, no drastic exercises to do. Just drink a glass full of Horlicks malted milk at noon instead of eating a big lunch. You see, Horlicks, because of its good protein content, carbohydrate and milk fat ratio, keeps your appetite satisfied. It gives you all the precious building qualities of heavier foods without the latter's excess calories. And now, here's a special message from Lum and Abner about that flashlight they offered to send to listeners. They say they just didn't know that they had so many friends. The number of requests for flashlights was so great that they can't be made quickly enough to send out promptly. But they want you to know that everyone who sent in will get his flashlight just as soon as it's humanly possible. They appreciate your waiting and know that you will be delighted with your flashlight when you do finally get it. And now, let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. Things haven't been running so smoothly at the John and Down store since Abner has been president. So yesterday, Lum refused to continue as a partner with Abner acting as president. And Abner refused to resign from the office. Well, the result was that the two old fellows decided to dissolve partnership and divide the store equally between them. Competitors under the same roof. Today, we find them dividing the stock of merchandise so that each can manage his own business. Lum is counting out a case of pork and beans, while Abner stands by to see that he gets fair deal. Listen. One for you and one for me and... One for me, and one for you. And one for me. Uh-huh. What's the matter? Oh, nothing, I reckon. Go ahead. One for me, and one for you. One for me, and one for you. I'll be glad when we get this thing divided up. One for me, one for you, one for me. Here, now, wait a minute there, now, Long. You're getting too many of them for me's in there. I ain't giving you no more than I am myself. I'm watching that. Yeah, Don't but what I mean, you're getting too many of them for you. For you? Yeah. I thought you said for me. Well, I, I said for me, but not for you. Well, I can't make no sense out of that kind of talk. Now, go ahead, but now I'm going to watch that counting from here out, I'll tell you that. One for me and one for you. One for me and one for you. And one for me and one for you. One for me. I granted there's one left over again. It's yeah. yours or worse. Well, I may as well open it up and eat it like we've been doing, I reckon. Well, I don't know where I can eat any more or not, Abner. Now, I bet we've had six dollars worth of canned goods already today. Yeah, well, we wouldn't have had to eat them two cans of salmon if you'd count them right in the first place. Well, we had one left over there, and we had to eat it to make it come out even. We never found that other until after we'd done it, you know. Yeah, that's what I say. We just ate them for nothing. Well, I believe, Abner, or Mr. Peabody, when we have an odd can left over that away, one or the other of us ought to just sell it to the other instead of eating it. No use to making ourselves sick this way. No. Oh, well, now, that might be a good idea. Well, I'll just sell you this can of beans, then. Well, uh, how much you want for it? Ten cents. That's a regular selling price for them. Well, all me, I'm selling them myself in my store for eight cents. Well, you ain't going to buy it for me at that price. I'll tell you that right now. I ain't running no cut-rate store. Well, I'll just buy it for myself, then. Just give myself eight cents for it. Well, here, though, it ain't yours to sell. Well, it ain't yours neither. Half of it's mine. Yeah, right, ain't it? My short head is half yours and half mine. Well, I'll sell you my half of it for a nickel, and I don't care what you give yourself for your half of it. All right. I'll just take it. Now, yeah, wait a minute now. Here, now, wait just a minute. Set it over here on this side. These are mine over here. Them yours. Yeah, yeah it's yours. Yeah, don't get them mixed up there. Well, let's see. I get all them can goods divided up. Yeah, I can eat them. Yeah, now let's see. We got that ham them folks sent us from uh, from uh, down there in Georgia. You know that peanut oh, yeah. ham. We got to divide that up. Yeah, well, we better just cut that half in two and take that on home. I'm 
I told Elizabeth about it, and she just uh, wants me to bring that on home. She says them's the best things that the body ever had. Well, that's my nice and folks to send it to us, I think that. Yeah, well, we'll just cut that in half, and too. We'll get a meat saw someplace and just uh, divide that up and take it home. We'll try to sell it. Yeah. Well, well I see. We better start in on that bolt goods now and get them ginghams and calicos and stuff divided up. Well, that stuff all sells at about the same price there, Mr. Peabody. It ain't no use to measure it all up. Ain't been more than two or three dress patterns sold off now. Why don't we just divide up the boat? No, 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 you don't. No, sir, now we'll measure up every yard of it. Divide it up half and half. All right, all right. Where about is the yard to stick at? Oh, uh, well, Cedric's been using it to punch up the fire with. It's all black and run it to cloth. You put it on there, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll just have to measure it out at arm's length. That's supposed to be a yard. Yeah, well, I'll measure it all first. Oh, no, you don't either now. I'll do my own measure. You measure yours, and I'll measure mine. That's what we'll do. All right, all right. Swan Abner, you're the most obstinate, sir. Uh, what? Could... Never mind. And I want to see it. That's a divided up right. I ain't going to get myself cheated. I'll tell you that right, right now. I'll take this pink here. I don't care. I'll take this one over here. One. Maybe it'll sell better anyway. Two. Three. Out of arm's length now. Well, here, count to yourself. Four. You're getting me all mixed up here. I can't do nothing. You count Well, wait loud. a minute. Measure from the end of your nose to the full length of your arm there. That's supposed to be a yard. I know, I know. Well, I'm... keep your head straight to the front there, then. Turn your head clean away from it that way. You're adding about a foot to every yard. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. I've got that feet all four. divided up now. Uh, did it come out even, Cedric? Yes, Mama. Put yours on one side, Mr. Lum's there on the other. Yeah, well. Granny's, I'm glad we never had none left over. I, I'd hate to eat a sack of chops or a sack of bran on top of all that other stuff we've had. Yeah, or bale of hay. What you fellas are smelling of that good there for? <laughs> we ain't smelling of it. We're amazing it off, Cedric, dividing it up. From the end of your nose to your arm's length, it's supposed to be a yard. Well, Mr. Lum's getting a whole lot the best of you there, ain't he? Well, no, we're amazing it the same way, both of us. Yeah, but his arm's about a foot longer than yours is. Huh? He's getting about a third more than Yeah, here, here, yeah. wait a minute now. Wait just a minute there, Mr. Edder. Just stop right where you're at. Just roar back up. I know that we've got to measure this stuff some other way. No, you don't. No, yes, I, I offered to measure it for both of us, and you wouldn't stand for it. Just go ahead and measure your own. Don't do it. Oh. Now, now, you got it all mixed up. I lost my place. Now, just roll her back up. We'll just wait till we get a yardstick. I ain't going to let you count it that way. Them arms of yours are two yards long. All right, all right. Uh, what you want me to do now? Well, uh, let's see, Cedric. Let's see now. Well, we got them nails back there and them tags. You got to count them. Now, there ain't no use to count them. Just weigh them up. But uh, never mind. You can be measuring up that cool oil back there, Cedric. That'll be a good job for you. Yeah, yeah. Here's Mom. You wouldn't want me to divide up that candy for you, would you? No, sir. You just stay out of that candy case, Cedric. I, I didn't think you would. Yeah, no. Yeah, again, you got done eating it, it'd be divided up three ways instead of two. Go on, measure up that coal oil like I told you to. Yes, Mom. And yeah, now there's another thing, too, Mr. Cedric. How are we going to divide up Cedric? Divide up Cedric? Oh, Danny's, I forgot about him. Yeah, well, there is something to figure on. Wait a minute, you fellas ain't figuring on cutting me in two, are you? No, go ahead, Cedric. We ain't talking to you. Go ahead. Might let him work for both of us here and divide his salary up half and two. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good idea. You take half of it and I'll take half of it. I mean, divide what we're paying. You pay half of it and I'll pay half. Oh, oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. There's no reason why he can't work for both of us. Well, let's get the rest of this stuff divided now to get done with it. Yeah, I do, too. I want to get opened up for business. I've got a lot of customers waiting till I open up. I've been talking to them. They're all been talking to them. Yes. Abner, if you start cutting prices on me, there's going to be trouble around here. I can see that already. You run your store, and I'll run mine. Whatever prices I make in my own business. I ain't going to complain again to you, and I don't want you complaining again to me. Here's that barrel of apples. We gotta count. Oh, well, I done counted them once. There's eight hundred and forty in there. I done count them. Eight hundred and forty. Yeah. Let's see. That'll be uh, eight, 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 uh -huh. four hundred and twenty for each one of us. Yeah. Now I'll count out my half and put them here in this empty cracker barrel. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna stand right here and watch you count them too. I'll tell you that. Here, you set them down in the barrel for a minute. Now don't drop them. Now you bruise them to where they'll go bad on. Easy as mine, Hope if you like that. Hope they do go back. Now, you watch me. I ain't going to pick out the biggest. No, that's ready. just what I'm looking for. Just put them down. I'll just take them as they come. Don't be picking them oh. out over them. Now. There's one, two, three. I I'm going to sell four. mine for 15 for a quarter when I open up. How many? 15. You can't make no money at them that price. 15, 
16, 17, 18, 19. I, I done uh, talking to a woman this morning. I already got an order for six bits worth from her. Wow. And that's 45 of mine. I done so as quick as we get them divided up. 46, 47. That's a good price to make on them apples. That, that makes 60 apples for a dollar that way. That's too cheap, 60 for a dollar. 61. And Dick Carson's selling some of them little ones down to his store not long ago for a cent apiece down there. A cent apiece? Yes, sir. That's a hundred for a dollar. That's what I say. hundred and one, hundred and two, hundred and three. and three. Anyway, we got to divide up that box of oranges over there, too, but I don't know how many of them is. It says right there on the end of the box. It says there's 176 in there, and that's a full case. Yeah, we won't have to count them. Oh, we can just count out half of 176 that way. Yeah. 177, 178. That last batch of we had had 225 for the case. Yeah, I know. Quit talking, Abner. You're getting me mixed up here, Sawyer. Don't want to cheat you none on this count. Well, I'm watching you now. 225, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. 226, 225. Of course, now, lemons runs a heap higher than that. Let's see, how many is in that case over there, anyway? Uh, 380. I've done looked at that. 380, huh? Yeah, 381, 382. How many of these is I supposed to count out for myself? Uh, well, half of 840, whatever that is. 420, yeah. yeah. Let's see, where was I? 382, I think you said. Yeah. But I think you made a mistake now, Lonnie. Now, don't, don't start that, Abner. You stood right there and watched me yeah, count. Yeah, but I just started to say, Well, Lonnie. don't start choosing me. Well, I mean, you count them, them wrong yeah, when Abner, you started. I counted every one of them apples right into your hand. I know that blame good and well and never made no mistake. I've got 382 already counted out there, and at least 38 more apples I've got coming out of that barrel. And I'm going to have them, too, or know the reason why. Come around here, tell me I'm... <laughs> well, it looks like by tomorrow, the Jot and Don store will be operated as two separate businesses. Edward versus Peabody. Ladies and gentlemen, here's a letter from Mrs. C.L.R. of Greenwood, South Carolina, that I know all your mothers would like to hear. She says, we have a very large family, ten children, and we certainly are grateful for all Horlicks has done for them. We nearly lost our first child. At six months, he weighed only ten pounds. And though we tried several kinds of foods, nothing seemed to help him. And then someone suggested Horlick's malted milk. And after we put him on a Horlick diet, he went through childhood without any more trouble. After that, we got Horlick's for all our babies, and it's been our old standby. And the youngsters certainly love it, too. Well, thank you, Mrs. C.L.R. We certainly appreciate your letter and are glad to know that Horlick's malted milk helped your babies as it's helped so many thousands of others. We hope your letter will be the means of acquainting still more mothers with the value of Horlick's malted milk when used as a food for infants and growing children. This is Carlton Brickert speaking for Lum and Abner and Horlick, who now bid you all good night and good health. <laughs>